this is the hardware setup that I have so I have two USB cable here this one is to power the uh, J-Link and then this one the other one is to power the waste block baseboard so as you see uh, I have four connections these are the SWD pins so here and then the supply so this is the minimal connection that we need only four pins connected on the SWD pins of the Rack 1 1720 so we will now proceed to the computer and see how we can update the info 0 file the first thing that you need to do is to download these two files the info 0.bin and then the command script you need to put this on a common folder uh, in, my, in my case I put it under rack Apollo 3 so it's on it's uh, in the downloads folder of my computer but this can be in different location in your setup after putting this in the same folder we can now edit the command script the text file so let's open it and then as you see here we have to modify the load bin this section where the info 0 that bin file is located so this is basically the same in this location on this path so we just need to copy that and then update this to that path just take note of the slash on my pc i edit it to forward slash because on windows this is backslash after modifying this we need to save we need to save the file I've opened so many. So we need to we need to save that. Then after saving that, you can now proceed on the uh, terminal. So here on the terminal, we can now execute the command. But before that, you need to be on the path where your bin file and the command script are located. So currently, it's here. Downloads, rock up all the three. So this is important as well. So once you're here, you can now execute this command. So jlink.exe device, then the commander script. So we need to be sure that the path is correct. Then you can just hit enter. So when you, when you hit enter, you should not see any errors here. And then it is now successfully uploaded. The boot pin is now usable for recovery. So there, there are few things that you, as long as you follow this, those instructions, there will be no problems. One problem that I encounter is that the J-Link is not an executable or it's not in an environmental path. So usually you will see this kind of error. Let's modify this. You will see this kind of error. So this is a non-recognizable external command. So when you see this error, most likely is that the J-Link the text eh, is not on the environment path. So to do that, we need to check first where is uh, the installation of our J-Link. So for me, it's here. You need to see where this J-Link.x is located. And then we can search for the environment path. You just need to type it. System environment. So environment variables. You have to click this. And then on the path, you need to edit. Then you just need to add this one. So you can browse or you can create new. Then just go on this directory. Uh, doing that, the jlink.exe will now be accessible. And you will now you will not have this kind of error. And that's all.